be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Evan J Music, and we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic. So if you cannot find your cursor, so like as you can see, I'm scrolling left to right or right to left here, and you can't see that cursor, what you could do is push T on your keyboard. And when you push T on your keyboard, what's gonna happen is the point you have the option to click on the pointer tool and the pointer tool is pretty much the first option there that's where you can find your cursor here all right usually sometimes this happens when you have a lot of windows open what we're going to do is try to create a track and you'll see that the uh, cursor is, is um, gone and so what we'll do here we'll go ahead and get out of this and I'm going to actually go ahead and like I said you push T here but I'm going to go ahead and close down Logic Pro 10. We'll go ahead and save. We'll do Command S, save it. And what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and close out of everything that you got going on here. As you can see, I got a lot of different programs going. We'll click out of Splice, come out of here and click off of Spotify, click off of my notes over here, and pretty much just shut down a lot of these extra windows, iMovie, um, even this uh, application as well so this usually happens when you have all these different applications going at the same time so now what we do is we just go go ahead and reopen logic pro 10 again and once that opens there's going to be no more issue finding let me click off of that there's going to be no more issue finding the cursor so you can see it everywhere it's it on the uh, in the program even if I clicked on a new track, you can still see it in there. So pretty much those two options are what's going to do what you're going to do to uh, fix the hidden or mysteriously gone um, uh, missing cursor uh, problem in Logic Pro 10. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.